Hey, how you doing guys? I had to try to take a quick uh, drink of coffee. Um, we're, hit, uh, we're here in DaVinci Resolve 15 uh, using the uh, plugin Cinema Grade from uh, Grading Control Central. I wanted to see the differences between the DaVinci Resolve version and perhaps uh, with Final Cut Pro 10. I don't have uh, Premiere Pro, so I'm not sure the difference is there. And uh, there are some differences here. We already sector, uh, selected our clips. Uh, actually, they're, they're almost the same clips uh, from Final Cut Pro 10 version. We're going to go ahead and go full screen so you can see a bit better. Now, as you can see here, um, usually at the top in the uh, Final Cut version, it would be um, like your base grading, then your matching between your different shots, and then your final grade. Here it's kind of all integrated, and the matching seems to be missing. Now he did mention that this would be considered uh, cinema grade light. Uh, I think he mentioned uh, Denver Riddle that some of the features are already in DaVinci Resolve, so maybe perhaps it didn't make sense to add them again. I'm not sure. Um, so we're going to take a look at the differences between the two, at least the Final Cut Pro 10 version and this version, DaVinci Resolve. Now, usually at the left, you can do some choices as far as camera LUTs, um, um, the type of monitor, and so on. You don't really have this here, and it, in fact, it looks like the tools you get from the final grade, looks LUTs, and looks transfer. And you still have the same tools pretty much on the right hand side. Now as far as the clips, you don't seem to have them on the bottom. They're, they're not really coming up. But like I said, DaVinci Resolve kind of has that anyway. Um, you do have your regular tools, which you normally do. Uh, here at the top um, are the same pretty much. Um, and then you can adjust it. In fact, let's uh, long click here and go back to exposure. So. Um, your universal or global exposure adjustment right here and of course with the other tools you do a long click and you can do the individual uh, highlights midtones and shadows as far as exposure and by clicking on it and then adjusting up and down here in this case it's the shadows um, so it's pretty much sure uh, the same thing throughout all your tools up here uh, contrast, uh, color temperature, and saturation, and of course, um, hue, saturation, and lumen adjustment. So pretty much the same thing. Uh, so I just wanted to show you the differences, uh, which there are. Uh, not quite as comprehensive as uh, perhaps the Premiere Pro and Final Cut Pro 10. Like I said, I think that's his decision in DaVinci Resolve, since it had a lot of the incorporation already into it, he didn't do it, made it as comprehensive, or perhaps he may even end up adding some of uh, the same ones, or maybe even some different ones for uh, DaVinci Resolve in the future. All right, uh, thanks for watching, and see you guys later. And uh, don't forget to subscribe if you like my videos, and see you later.